75 years ago, the British mathematician Alan Turing proposed a theoretical device that could perform computations and provided the foundations of computer science. This is a Minecraft implementation of a Turing machine. Here it is running Turing's first example program, simply writing a sequence of symbols to the tape. I have three block pairs for each symbol. For this program, all the glass down represents a blank, just the middle block down represents a zero, and the outside blocks down represent a one. The program writes a sequence blank, zero, blank, one, and repeats. In theory, the, the tape extends to infinity, but Minecraft isn't quite that big. So I've looped the tape around and joined it behind the machine. Each tape position can hold one of eight different symbols, including the blank. The magenta section is the read-write head. It pops the bottom blocks out for reading, and then it writes to the tape by changing blocks around with pistons. The orange section is the um, machine state. There are four latches allowing up to 16 possible states. I usually reserve zero as the halt state. And this blue section is the action table, which is the program that defines the state transitions and the resulting actions on the tape. This Turing machine has enough capacity to implement a universal Turing machine, but for a more practical demonstration, I've coded a program that looks for palindromes. I've encoded a sequence of symbols, G, A, A, T, T, C, representing DNA nucleotides. The program's looking for reverse complement pairs at each end of the sequence. When it finds a match, it deletes the pair. If the sequence is palindromic, it will halt with the entire sequence erased. Guanine is represented by just the white wool block down, adenine by the white wool and dark grey wool down, thymine by the white wool and light grey wool down, and cytosine by all wool blocks down. There's blanks to mark the end of the sequence. I've just erased the guanine and now we're searching to the other end of the sequence looking for the matching cytosine. And it's reached the end of the sequence. So it goes back. Reads the tape, checks its cytosine and then erases that. Now it'll go back to the beginning of the sequence to look for the next next pair of matches. That's found the beginning of the tape, so it'll advance to the next symbol. Next symbol, adenine, it erases that, and then it'll go back to the other end of the sequence and look for the matching thymine. the end of the sequence again. Finds a thymine and erases that. Goes back to the beginning of the sequence. Sees the blank. Finds the adenine and erases this and advances to the end of the sequence. Finds the blank which tells it it's got to the end of the sequence. And it checks for a matching thymine. Finds it so it erases it. Goes back to the beginning of the sequence again. The sequence is empty now of course. Sees that it's empty, sees the beginning of the sequence, checks the symbol, it's empty, so then it halts.